Hey, this is James. As a follow-up to last week, I want to discuss a little bit more or go through a little bit more about favorites, so how we can edit them. Uh, I, showed you an ex I showed an example last week uh, how to do this uh, a little bit. So let's go into with the uh, text tool, for example. So let's go through a little bit more uh, in this area. So here I've opened up the favorites palette. So I can access that via Windows palettes and favorites. So I just turn this on. And by default, uh, so I'm using the Archicad 23 uh, international template. So here I can choose between a list view, smaller icons and large icons. When I go to any of the types, I see a preview. If they contain 3D, so if I go to something like furniture, then 3D previews will generate. If I hold shift, then I will in immediately see the 2D preview. The way that the previews generate is based on the what I can see in this list. So as I scroll, new ones will be generated. So it may be worth keeping this smaller, just so not all of them uh, uh, generate. Uh, it also might be worth changing to 2D previews. I think these are a little bit faster to generate than 3D from memory. So we can switch between the two styles. For things like annotation, these don't have a 3D obviously, so we only get the one preview. Um, so now I'm seeing everything. So if I go to something like the wall tool, I'm still seeing everything. So what, to filter this to the actual tool, what we can do is open up the little cogwheel button here and say filter to the active tool only. Okay, but then I still see annotation and all these folders. Uh, if a folder doesn't contain any favorites or any visible favorites, then it will turn this lighter color. So if I scroll down, I'm going to see uh, this one means that it actually has, so there's going to be uh, favorites inside this one. So here we go the, for the walls. Uh, to hide all of these uh, folders, we can have another option to say filter all those folders as well. So now I will only see folders that are relevant for the current tool. So if I go to slab, now I can see just the slab folder. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at what we can do. Uh, a few different methods. So if I go to the slab tool, and if I open up the favorites uh, pop-up, so here it's automatically filtered. So we still have the fil filter folders, but it will only ever show me the slab favorites from the slab tool. So if I say double click this one, it will apply to here. And if I want to update, so let's say instead of 30, let's just say it's 300. Obviously this is too thick, but just for, as an example. And if I want to update this, I can just select the one I want to update, click the update icon, or I can right click and say redefine, sorry, redefine uh, icon, or right click and say redefine. So based on the current settings, once I right click or click this, it will update the one that's selected. So let's say this is back to just 30 and open this, right click, redefine. So this is updated. So there's another way. So if I go OK, uh, from the palette, what I can do is say right click and say edit. So this will open the slab settings, but this is the favorite settings. So here I'm editing ceiling. If I click here, I can actually rename it. So I can say ceiling thick and say then this is 300 and I can edit anything that I want here, including layer. So any information here. And then once I click OK, then this will update. So here the name is updated and the thickness updated. So what's useful is if you hold shift or uh, to select multiple, I can go into edit and I can edit, so here it says various. So it's editing three favorites currently. So for example, like the uh, outline, so maybe instead of this uh, 
uh, turquoise or aqua color, I can turn to black. So I'm going to change the uncut to say black for all of these and not touch anything else. And OK. And now these three have been updated. So for example, if you want to update properties or classification across multiple favorites, you can do the multi-selection and go edit. So let's have another uh, a look at another example. So if I go to something like the door and then go to my openings. So here I can see multiple openings that have casings. So I'm just going to select these, right click, edit. And in my uh, settings here, I'm going to, so under fixtures and fittings, the casing I'm going to turn off for outside and inside. I'm not going to touch anything else. And then click OK. So this has kept the sliding pocket and the asymmetrical. So it's kept all of the settings, only turned off the casing for all of those doors. Uh, this doesn't. This generally works for the Archicad libraries because they're all referring to sort of the same macros, I believe. Um, so this is worth uh, maybe testing a little bit, uh, depending on how much you're changing. Uh, usually, this is good for uh, editing the classification of properties over multiple favorites. So this is through the favorites uh, palette. So if I go into the door tool and switch over to my favorites list here. Okay, so if I click a favorite, then it instantly applies on the right-hand side. So if I wanna change this to say something much smaller, for example, just to make a, a bigger difference, if I wanna update this, because I'd already selected it, I can just go right-click and go redefine or click the redefine at the bottom. But if I, so that's actually uh, a little bit too small on the side. I'm gonna go redefine. Okay, so that's updated. But if I want to replace this with something else, so for example, let's just say, I like this asymmetrical door and I also wanna update this one. So if, as soon as I click, it's going to replace this, uh, this uh, it's going to uh, apply those settings to the right hand side. So I kind of want to copy this one into this one. So because this one is already selected or if I, for example, say door with side light and go to my favorites, as soon as I click on, so I want this door, sorry, I want this door to be uh, used for this favorite. But of course, as soon as I click the favorite, it's going to then apply this favorite. So let me switch back to one of those doors. So for example, this one. So if I want to update this one, I can't click on it because it's going to apply it. So if I click on the little circle with a dot, 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 it gives me the context menu. And I can say for this one, I'm going to redefine it. And therefore, it's applying the current selection to this one without having to click on this to apply it. So this is what the little uh, sort of context menu here is for. To, uh, so you don't have to click on it to apply it. So you can update it without having to click on it. So I think that's uh, also quite useful. So let's uh, exit from this. So here I've, uh, yeah, so here it's updated. So let's look at a couple of other examples. So let's go to something like this beam. And if I go to, I'll just select the beam tool so it filters the lists. So here I see beams. And if I want to create this one as a favorite here, so I'll just go new and say maybe hammer head beam, just for, for a name, and click OK. So here we have it uh, appearing. If I draw a, another beam, so this is using the default, if I double click or hit apply, it's going to use one of the parametric, uh, the transfer settings, so it's going to transfer everything. But I can choose to transfer uh, 
some things or not some things. So I might go into more detail in a future episode. Um, but for this one, I'm going to say maybe exclude the size, height, and elevation. And so what it's done is actually only, so it's not uh, converted this to a multi-segmented, it's just taken the first segment and then applied this. So it's a more limited uh, application of this favorite. But if I just double click, it uses the default, which is then transferring all settings here. So this is the default. But I might go through this again uh, in a future sort of episode. Uh, because this is multi-segmented, it has multiple components. So if I go into edit mode, select this first component, and I can go add, so let's say uh, wide beam segment, click OK. So here I can see that this is actually a segment uh, component rather than the whole beam. So the whole beam will save multiple segments and the entire settings. This one is just one of the segments. So if I exit this, sorry, if I go into the beam settings, under segments, I have favorites per segment, and I have favorite for the whole uh, for the whole beam. So this will save all the segments, or I can save the individual segments uh, one by one as well. So I'll leave this dialog. So this behaves uh, the same for other hierarchical elements. So if I go, for example, this uh, curtain wall, I'm going to edit mode, and then select, so for example, frame, and under the curtain wall, so here I'm just seeing the frame because I'm selected the curtain wall frame tool, then I'm only seeing the curtain wall frames. So not the entire curtain wall, but just a component. So I can double click one of these, to apply it just to this uh, subcomponent. So I open up the settings. Sorry if I'm going too fast. Then frames, then the favorites are per component. So for the curtain wall, we have a general favorite which saves everything. Or I can save just a scheme or just a frame, just a panel, etc. So the subcomponents. So it's always worth what seeing, just checking the uh, little icon uh, uh, as an overlay on the favorites themselves to see uh, is it the whole curtain wall or is it just a subcomponent uh, that you're applying. So let's exit this. Okay, so just to recap, so what we can do is go edit. I can click on the header and so I'm editing the favorite so I can rename it. It's also I can, I'm editing one of the favorites. If I select multiple, I can also go edit and change anything here. So here it says various and I'm editing multiple. So hopefully this helps um, to kind of understand how favorites uh, behave a little bit and how you can edit uh, the favorites. Uh, I'll go one more example. So here I've got uh, multiple. So here I've got um, angle dimension and regular dimension. So let's just see these. I'm going to right click and say edit. And let's go under the textile. And I'm going to choose something like uh, purple. And I'm going to see all of those text uh, color update. Yeah. So this is can be uh, this is how we can uh, edit multiple favorites and how we can sort of manage them. So hopefully that was useful. So till next week. Thanks. Bye.